And there's this hat that says live simply. And that kind of hit home for me because it's really easy to lose touch with how special this place that we live is. My name is Cole Christensen from Kailua, Oahu. We're out here on the North Shore. A little piece of property my brother and I somehow acquired. We call it the land. Every plant you see, we planted. Nothing was here before, it was just a big grassy area. I've always wanted to live a lifestyle that was close to nature. When my brother and I purchased this property back in 2006, there was no electricity. So we explored solar. And for me, it was new, it was exciting, just because, you know, 10 years ago, it was around, but it wasn't as, I guess, popular or um, accessible. So I went back to school, I learned how it worked, and we put solar on this house. Bula. So this house here was the first house. This is where my brother and I lived for shoot, several years before we built that main house. Some artillery. Some of the guns. Some of the safety stuff we use now. I had a fin go into my back. It broke off in my back. See that scar? Yeah, there's a big slice through the. There's two two fin entries. Here's the outdoor shower. This is one of my favorite vines. This plant's really pretty. Isn't that radical? You hope you'd get a sponsor and they pay you to travel the world. I mean, that's a dream of any young aspiring surfer, but the reality is it's tough, so I kind of just gave up on that and just surfed and worked. I remember going to the P.O. box and I opened up this little letter and it was like receiving the golden ticket from like Willy Wonka. You're our fourth alternate in the Eddie Aikau. And I was like, I was tripping, I'm like, oh my gosh. Like that moment for me was you know, to this day, one of the coolest moments in my surfing career. But at that time, I already had this house. I already had my business. I feel like sometimes I have my hands full, but it's a kind of a constant act of balance and juggling and trying to find that line in between everything that, you know, keeps myself sane. And I'm not sure if I'll ever find it, but I think that's that hunt for it, that search for it, and balancing that search and, and not making it too difficult, I think maybe then I'd be on that path to happiness.